Good afternoon, guys. It's uh, Friday, April 6th, and I have a day off from work. I was watching Donnie Boy 73's channel earlier today. As I said in an earlier video of mine, Don is an experienced small engine mechanic, and he shares a lot of his knowledge and experience with a lot of videos he posts on his channel. And every Friday he has a question and answer video. This Friday in the comments section he had mentioned that he was thinking of getting a tachometer and I thought I'd post a short review of the tachometer I use. This is a Dixon model 1082 wireless tachometer for small engine testing and I find it has a lot of good features. It runs on a 9 volt battery but you can easily remove the battery when you're not using it to keep the uh, tachometer from uh, deteriorating. It has a press on and off switch. You can't, you have to hold it on so it won't run the battery down. And it has a battery check feature. The battery is good. It also has a high RPM range and a low RPM range. The low RPMs range is from 0 to 5,000 and the high RPM range is from 0 to 15,000. So on the low range you can check things like lawn mowers and pumps and the high range is good for chainsaws and cut off saws and weed eaters, things of that nature. I got mine a number of years ago from Foley Bell Saw and I'm sure if you look on the internet you can find other suppliers of that. When I was taking a small engine course a long time ago they recommended that the blade tip speeds not exceed 19,000 feet per minute. That equates on a 20 inch lawnmower to 3400 RPMs and on a 22 inch lawnmower to 3100 RPMs. So I've got one of my lawnmowers outside. I'm going to take the camera out and check the RPMs on it. This is a 20 inch lawnmower, so the uh, recommended RPMs on that is 3400 RPMs. So excuse me while I move the camera and change it. Now I've got the uh, safety handle wired open. It's never good to override a safety device, but for this demonstration it'll be okay. I'm not sure whether you could see that or not, but the uh, RPM reading was 3400, which is right where it should be for a 20-inch lawnmower. Okay, thanks for watching this. I hope it was helpful.